Salisbury and I've got a couple of questions actually about the same video that I thought let's answer in here. Now if you haven't seen any of these videos before, well you won't have done because this is the first one I've done like this, but I'm, I, I enjoy and love going back through the chats, uh, the comments that you put through rather and uh, answering some of the questions and every now and again I'll go this is a bit hard trying to post an answer back in, let me just record something back. So in this video today, we are looking at these two questions, all about recording in Zoom. Um, Becky said, uh, I'm interviewing a person via Zoom and recording it. I would like to capture both of our voices, but only the video of the person I'm interviewing. Can I set it up to only show video of my interviewee? Uh, then secondly, Video Babu says, Hi Adrian, I did a cloud recording, but Zoom only recorded the participants video coming in and out, not what I wanted to be recorded. The host view, and yet the participants saw the host view without audio. Can you advise where I went wrong? In record set in the settings, uh, you put record active speaker with shared screen. Right. Okay, we've got, uh, they're different questions, but the answer is quite similar. And so what I'm going to do is just take you over to my Zoom settings. Uh, we want to be recording in cloud. You need to be on a paid plan to do this. I actually use an enterprise account. I will put details below. You need to find someone who offers this service. Um, Marquesa, I think, has commented actually on here. I've got a link to uh, her plan if you want to look at that. I think I pay about $360 a year and that gives me unlimited cloud recordings. It also gives me 1080p, which is the main reason that I'm on it. But uh, you can do this with uh, any of those paid plans. So if I come and just share my screen, we're looking over here in Zoom. So you just go to zoom.us and uh, in your settings down here, so you normally would come in on your Zoom screen, under your settings here, you've got general, you wanna come across to recordings, and we are, so I've got this, there's an option here for local recordings, but cloud recordings, make sure that's turned on. And look, I'm actually selecting all of these, record active speaker, record gallery view, um, all these different options you can see, just tick them all. Um, so actually you could put this one on as well. I think that was uh, one of the answers could do this. Actually, no, it's the other way around, wasn't it? You wanted the audio of everybody, but a different recording. Um, you can add all these in. And then what's going to happen is when you come to your recordings, so I've got all of these up here. If I just, let's jump on one um, over here. Notice that what I've got in front of me then, look, all of those, I've got my screen share with the speaker, with gallery, speaker view, gallery view, shared screen, or I've got audio only. And if I'd set that, you saw I just turned it on there, I would get audio for the different people that were speaking as well. So lots of options there. And individually, you can just download those. So if you want to be able to do that and mix it up, so you want audio from both, but you only want the guest uh, or the speaker view, you know, you could download speaker view, you could download the audio from everybody and you could just have to edit that. Um, you'll find that the files are all exactly the same length. So if you brought it into an editing software, you're just gonna drop one above the other, mute the video view and let the audio play from that one. But um, hopefully that answers the question. So it's all in those settings. You'll find that when you do, as, as long as you've turned that on and made those settings available, when you actually do your recording in Zoom, uh, it will say, do you want to record to your computer or do you want to record to the cloud? All you got to do is click record to the cloud and within a few minutes, you'll get an email come through saying your, your files are ready and then you'll have an option like that with all of those individual files that you can just choose whichever one you want. It's nice and easy. You just, you know that whatever you're set, you know, you don't have to think about it really. If you've got enough storage space on here to be doing this, um, just let it record all of them and you can pick and choose which ones you want. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. If you want more questions like this answered, please comment away. If I see something that I think, let's just record a video on that, I will do. And be sure to check out the playlist with it answering your questions. And as ever, obviously, we want you to subscribe so you don't miss any of these when they pop up. All right, thanks so much. I'll see you in another of those videos. Bye.